If you're watching this video, there's a good chance you're on the hunt for tech products that not only excel in functionality, but also boast an appealing aesthetic. Over the past year, I've had the opportunity to test out various gadgets in both the tech and design realms. In this video, we'll be delving into some of the most unique accessories I've come across that have the potential to elevate your personal and work productivity experience while also adding a touch of fun to your downtime. Before we begin, I'd like to offer a quick disclaimer. Some of the products I'm featuring today have been sent to me for testing purposes. However, I'll be sharing my honest thoughts based on my personal experience. So without further ado, let's dive right in. First up, we have the Logitech Lift Vertical Mouse. At first glance, this mouse may strike you as a bit unconventional due to its unique shape. However, after using it for a few months, I began to appreciate Logitech's claim that it offers a comfortable working experience. The vertical design allows for a more comfortable wrist position, relieving the pressure often felt with standard mice during long hours of work. The mouse also features a fluid, ergonomic back design that further enhances palm comfort. Surprisingly lightweight despite its initial appearance, the Logitech Lift vertical mouse provides smooth scrolling, customizable buttons, and a quiet click. With this mouse, it does feel like my wrists can rest better on an angled surface. The back of the mouse has this sort of fluid design that curves along the surface to allow the palm to be more comfortable as well. Its buttons are also customizable using the Logi Options software. It also features two thumb buttons that function as a forward and backward control by default, but if you have compatible softwares that the Logi Options app can read, you can also customize its function. The right and left click buttons are also quiet compared to my MX Master 3, and I actually prefer it like that. Unfortunately, the mouse is not rechargeable, although it comes with AA batteries that's supposed to last you up to 24 months. Not sure if that's true, but I've had the mouse for about 8 months now and it's still at 90%. You can also connect the mouse to 3 different devices via Bluetooth, or you can also use the Logibolt dongle that comes with the mouse. It's a great mouse overall, but there are a couple of downsides for me. First is that it doesn't feature a horizontal scroll wheel, and second is that it's not as portable compared to let's say the G304. Despite its plastic feel, it still feels like it's sturdy enough and it doesn't feel like it was cheaply built. The AOHI Future Eternal City Now, this one, I guarantee you, is probably something you might have not encountered or seen yet. This strange and futuristic looking device is actually a wireless charger. Its design is quite interesting. The gimmick of this wireless charger is that you'll have to assemble it piece by piece. Out of the box, there are 8 pieces and a toolkit for you to use as you assemble the product. Now, as of filming this video, this product is currently on Kickstarter being campaigned. With it being a DIY space themed charging station, it's literally like a toy for adults. Now, this may not look like your normal tech gear that's plain, minimal, and understated, but to me, I appreciate the craftsmanship and creativity poured into making this wireless charger. The finish is silver and has this futuristic sort of cyberpunk feel, and the charging pads have this bronze-like finish. The left side has this tower-looking structure which they call the Star Ring. It's a magnetic charger designed for MagSafe charging, and the lower right side portion has this sort of bay that can charge your AirPods or any other wireless earphones you have. What's also interesting is that this spaceship-like charging object is actually a detachable wireless power bank that you can take with you on the go. Another cool design aspect is that the charging station lights up whenever you are charging your devices. I'm not quite sure who the actual target of AOHI is, but I can clearly imagine that this Eternal City wireless charger can fit well with gaming setups as well as setups that are space themed or maybe people who are a fan of Star Wars, like myself, since it resembles the looks of a droid. Overall, it's an interesting piece of tech and it does make my space look less monotonous and it reminds me to not always take myself too seriously. After all, as we grow older and get busier in life, it's also great to remind ourselves to take a step back and not allow ourselves to grow up too fast. Next up is the Pro Screencast SEO2. With the rise of streaming and casting, it has become common for us to project media from our smartphones and computers onto larger screens. In fact, this is a much more common practice in schools and offices. The Pro Screencast SEO2 allows you to mirror your device on the receiving screen. It's a plug and play device with a 4K 30Hz HDMI wireless receiver that allows you to experience low latency casting at a long distance up to 50 meters. As long as your device is HDMI compatible, it can run a signal to and from it. 
The great thing about this is that it does not require you to connect to the internet or Bluetooth, and it also does not require you to download any app. In my use case, if ever I want to connect my laptop to my TV and cast a video, I can easily use the SEO2 and do so wirelessly. I mainly do this if I want to play back some of my videos before uploading to the channel. The downside, however, is that your device cannot connect to the internet while doing this, so you can't really watch videos from streaming services. I find this to be quite a disadvantage since most of the time, most people would want to cast something from let's say Netflix and watch a show together. However, it's great to be used for presentations and lectures. I can definitely see the possibility of bringing this device with me to client meetings or outdoor meetings since it's also light and portable. The upside is that it allows you to cast with very low latency and it allows up to 30Hz of 4K image to be cast. So if you're presenting higher resolution videos to your client and you want to get rid of HDMI cables or any kind of cable, the Pro Screencast SEO2 is a great option for you. Next up is the Laser Mesher Pro from Hodo. This is absolutely one of my favorite nifty devices to bring with me when I'm doing site work, construction, renovation projects, and all sorts of projects that require measuring things. Especially measuring things that are not easy to reach like ceilings and overhead cabinets. This allows me to measure with less effort. In my use case, it's particularly helpful to measure floor to ceiling heights as well as wall to wall lengths. I also frequently use the built-in level meter to check my installations and other objects if they are straight. Another cool feature is that it can also compute areas for you. Simply point at two walls for example and it will immediately show you the total area of the space. It's also able to tell the angle of an object which is great when you are trying to hang some artworks or framed wall elements. It also connects to the Hoto app which opens up a lot of other features and most importantly it looks stylish and understated. I like the fact that its accuracy and features work really well with its exterior design and finishing. The next item I want to talk about is not exactly a physical accessory, but it does make your digital workspace a little bit more interesting. I do believe that being able to customize your wallpapers and change them up from time to time creates a feeling of freedom and personalization in your workspace. These are some of the wallpapers I personally created and designed, and if you're interested in getting a pack for yourself, link is in the description box. I do want to take a moment to thank the people who got themselves a pack from my store, and I just want to let you guys know that I appreciate it, and you guys are awesome for supporting the channel. Now on to the next one. If audio is important to you, but you're not willing to go the extra mile and learn how to professionally record your voice or instruments through an interface, then a USB powered microphone is the perfect choice for you. The Blue Yeti is one of the most interesting looking mics out there and it's always been a great microphone for podcasts, recording voiceovers, and even recording vocals for music production. It has this unique design structure that somehow resembles a classic retro recording mic that broadcasters would use. It's also sturdy, built with an all-metal chassis, and has this handy mute button and volume knobs in front for quick and easy access. Below the microphone itself, you will see your micro USB input as well as a headphone jack and behind the microphone is your gain knob which controls how much input you want the microphone to pick up. One interesting feature of this microphone is the four different polarity patterns you can choose from when you're recording audio. Cardioid mode picks up audio directly in front of the mic, a stereo mode which picks up signals from left to right, an omnidirectional mode which picks up sounds from all around the microphone, and lastly, the bidirectional mode which picks up sounds from the front and back of the microphone. Overall, the Blue Yeti is a great choice for people who just want to record audio straight to the software via USB, for people who want to up their sound quality during conference calls, or for people who want to stream as well. As for me, I mainly use this microphone to record voiceovers for most of the videos on this channel. For years, this mic is one of the most uniquely designed microphones out there, and with its quality and flexibility, it's no wonder why it remains to be one of the most sought after USB powered microphones until this very day. Next up is this Nintendo Switch Slim Case from TomTalk. While it's not a tech item, it does a great job housing my beloved Nintendo Switch. As a casual Switch gamer, I always want to make sure that my device is protected well. What's unique about this case is its slimness and lightness without compromising its drop protection. It protects the Joy-Con's buttons and has this flap that can store up to 10 different game cards. The flap in the middle also has this velour fabric which is friendly to the Switch's screen. Because it has a wrist strap, it also is very easy to carry around, making the Switch more portable. 
It also comes in many other different colors, but I chose the classic black one to complement my curated setups. Since we're already on the topic of gaming, I personally wanted to elevate my gaming experience this year since Tears of the Kingdom came out. One thing I added to my collection is this controller from 8-Bit Do. It's absolutely minimal to look at, and it perfectly fits my setup really well. It's able to connect to both my Switch and PC through an included dongle, and the buttons have a great tactile experience when being used. The D-pad is smooth to the touch and allows a more immersive and accurate movement as well. Apart from the fast wireless connectivity through the dongle, it's also capable of connecting to devices via Bluetooth with low latency. A great design idea that I appreciate is the charging dock that goes with the controller. When connected via USB-C, simply put the controller over it and it attaches magnetically to the controller with ease. It also has a software that you can use to customize the buttons and can be used on PC, Android, and iOS. In conclusion, these unique tech accessories have the potential to transform your productivity, personal enjoyment, and gaming experiences. Whether it's a mouse, or a wireless charger, or a caster, or a measuring device, or even just simply a controller, there's something for everyone. Remember that technology should not always be just functional, but also add joy and convenience to our lives. So go forth, explore these unique accessories, and let them unlock new possibilities in your daily endeavors. If you enjoyed this video, please consider leaving a comment and giving this video a thumbs up. If you're interested in any of the products, links are provided in the description box below. Thanks again for watching. See you on the next one. Cheers.